Hi guys, welcome back free automation learning channel and my name is Chirag. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic in Cucumber that is scenario outline. Basically scenario outline is commonly used when we do data driven testing and by doing by using this uh, we can do data driven testing in a simple way and what is a scenario test outline scenario out outlines are used when same test has to be performed with different data set uh, you can assume that uh, there is a username and password and we need to validate a uh, same test with different data set so at that time we can use scenario outline and one more important thing about scenario outline is that if we set scenario outline it the data would set with that complete scenario right it is not set for a particular step so we will discuss this point in later uh, when i write the code then you can understand what i told you at this time right and uh, scenario outline is a keyword which is provided by cucumber and when we use uh, scenario outline then we need to use examples keyword also so both these keywords is necessary if we are using uh, these keywords in data driven testing and this all about a scenario outline and uh, let me start with a code so second point would be uh, is how to use scenario outline in Cucumber. So I am writing a code and we will discuss this point. So let me open my clips and I am going to create a new feature file. That feature file is scenario. outline test I'm creating feature file in such a way so that you can easily understand which feature file could for which keyword right so this is all about the things and let me remove all this thing go and just copy this two lines and maybe I need to copy background test snail out and parameterization right I will copy this and I will explain what I'm going to automate here right mm -hmm. okay let me copy first these two points After that, what uh, is the validate search feature? So let me put this, and after that, and put this line over here, right? This is all about the examples and this is about scenario outline which I am talking about. Here I write, I will remove all this thing because what I am going here I am just search different keywords in Google dot, on google.com. I write here search text and put this search text over here. Firstly, I am not parameterized, I am just taking a simple way this Cucumber, um, sorry this scenario outline and after that we will parameterize. So I will write Cucumber. At this time it will not work because it will say that you need to implement this cucumber step first and then we will 
run right so at this time I just run and we will see how we am going and what I did here let me show pretty format what I did here I just pass this column name under this angle bracket right and I am going to search cucumber so let me see what will be the output I am running this and browser has been watch and it search cucumber so you can see that it give me the implementation that you need to enter this cucumber here right so what I am doing here I do not implement this why because the one more thing I just wanted to show it said cucumber right in case I have multiples of test data let me three keyword I need to search so my cucumber one cucumber two now you can see that three step I need to implement to run this scenario outline so we do not do this we do not do same test again and again we just parameterize these things I am just going to show you so you can this has there are three test data so my test is repeating in three times right so we will see what will be the output here and why I am not implementing these features if I am see and see that there would be a cucumber ok there is one more two tag two three so you can see this three times and you can see there cucumber again we need to implement here so I do not implement cucumber I just what do I parameterize here right at at this point I write cucumber YouTube and let me remove this so I want to test this by two lines at this time I do not want to let me run this way once again and you will see what I am going to tell you it runs two times first for cucumbers and second for YouTube let me expand the console so you can easily see so you can see that here it is going to implement two features cucumber said that you need to implement for cucumber and you need to implement one step for youtube but i do not want this if there are number of data then i need to implement all this step for one and one and one that's not the right way to automate what i do here i just parameterize this thing also right so now what i is do now by single step i have to implement and I run this and I handle number of test data so that is a smart way to automate data driven testing by using Cucumber right and if I talking about it will again tell me that you need to implement this Okay, and I enter 
pressing word and I need to validate so what it did it very change my this and let me open with YouTube and we will see what will be the output so why it did that because we already uh, where is my scenario we already implement this I enter such text right so that's why it do not give me the implementation of Cucumber let me run again and we will see what will be the output right so it will search for Cucumber and again for YouTube now it's invoking and if you can see it search Cucumber it is for waiting it's closed again invoke now it will search you YouTube so this is the how scenario outline works and by using examples we can enter R you can see now YouTube have been searched by R script so this is how the data driven testing is can be done by cucumber right so you can see two scenario and two scenario has been passed if I open this oh, oh. Okay, I need to run this from tab 2 okay. search text and I will pass such text over where is my runner test here and let me run once again So it's all about the data driven testing how we can do data driven testing in cucumber you can see that we need to just pass the data on here it is example and if i pass number of data here and it will run again and again for that particular test data right so this is all the way how we can do data driven testing and it is a very good because you can understand in this way that what the data we are testing um, for this test so this is all about acceptance testing google is for acceptance testing whereas a stakeholder can easily understand that okay for this feature i am testing and this feature by using this data right so this is a beautiful feature provided by cucumber and now you can see you can see here that we have passed to data cucumber and youtube you can see this display here and and i enter cucumber in the keyword and i enter a youtube in search keyword right so this is the beauty of the scenario outline and by this we can do data driven testing in cucumber so guys hopefully you understand the concept of uh, scenario outline and it is a very important concept if you go for the interview interview will ask you this definitely if it is talking about cucumber right so thank you for watching this video and hopefully you like my video and Take care. Bye-bye.